Time for an innovation and uh, something interesting for people to imagine as they're driving around. What yes, do we have? anyone who's ever been pregnant will know how uncomfortable wearing a car seat belt can be and even dangerous to the unborn baby in an accident. Today's invention is a solution to that. It's called the Pixie Pregnancy Seat Belt Harness and its inventor, Stephen Weston, is here to tell us more. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, my name is Stephen Wesson. I'm the Managing Director of Technological Systems Limited and we've developed the world's first shoulder harness for pregnant women in cars that completely eliminates the diagonal strap from across the pregnant mother's stomach. In the US, it's estimated that there are around 5,000 fetal deaths every year. No matter who you are, when it comes to seat belts, there's pretty much just one option. For a lot of people, um, particularly pregnant women, it's awkward to wear it correctly or to wear it safely. The problem, a diagonal strap going right across the belly. Even at a slow impact of sort of 15 miles an hour, a car park type accident, you can damage the fetus, but you wouldn't notice it. Research has shown that up to 87% of pregnant women don't wear their seatbelt correctly according to ROSPA guidelines. 65% of pregnant women believe that the diagonal strap poses a direct threat to their unborn baby. The Pixie Pregnancy Seatbelt Harness was uh, developed at the Bolton Automotive and Aerospace Research Group by Professor Clive Cherwa, uh, who is one of the world's leading authorities on crash investigation. So what do we have to offer? We have the world's first shoulder harness for pregnant women in cars that completely removes the diagonal strap from across the pregnant stomach. We have granted UK and European patents that cover five and a half million births every year until the year 2026. And we've got the US market as a target, which has an additional four and a half million births every year. Following that, we're looking to go worldwide, in particular into the Chinese and the Japanese markets. It's scalable in a range term because we have developments in uh, motion at the moment where Pixie Harness can be used for stoma patients. That's patients who have either colostomy bags or ileostomy bags or similar that are on the outside of their body. Um, these people are exempt from wearing seat belts because the seat belt can interfere with the actual stoma bag. Using the Pixie Harness, they can have the seat belt stuck permanently behind them with the Pixie Harness on and then using the Pixie Harness that will give them a high degree of protection that they currently don't have. Currently we have the harness manufactured in the UK by a leading racing harness manufacturer that also manufactures uh, Formula One racing harnesses as well. It's made in small numbers and is consequently manufactured as a premium product. To sell it in large numbers we need to get the cost base down. And we've identified manufacturers in the UK that can do this. Uh, but also manufacturers abroad that can do it in larger numbers do the development and testing that we need when they start to manufacture and uh, to start the production runs and that will bring the cost basis down dramatically. To do that we need investment that we're looking for at the moment. So we need the £60,000 now to get the stock manufactured and tested and ready to come in. Uh, to protect some intellectual property in doing so and for marketing in particular and some working capital. We also want you to come on board and help us with your contacts and your experience if it's relevant. And what do you get in return? You get an equity stake in a company with a great product that has a never-ending supply of customers. You also get, we think, a warm fuzzy feeling Every time that you see a pregnant woman driving down the road with a pixie harness on, protecting her unborn baby. So in closing, I look forward to welcoming you on board and into the world of the pixie harness. Thank you.